Good morning. Good morning. Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. I have to actually, let's stop for a second. I have to find a new way to start because I say the same thing every week. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. Yes, I do hope you had a wonderful weekend. I really do. I hope you had an amazing weekend. But I need an original way to start. So anybody who can give me a great suggestion of what I should say, welcome, or I don't know, what am I supposed to say? But anyway, welcome, happy Monday, happy Monday. Hey, everybody who's joining, so great to have you here. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm Sandra, and I am the founder, and I call myself Chief Storyteller. I don't know quite what that means, but it sounded fancy when I thought about it, so that's the title I'm going with. But I'm the founder of Ndini Media, and we're a platform that shares the stories of inspiring, trailblazing women. And I do this live every Monday to help get your week started, hopefully, on a positive note. I share something that I've come across in my travels, or something that I found striking, or a quote, or some anything that I feel might be impactful, you might enjoy hearing. And so happy Monday. And sometimes when I've actually done something interesting, I start by telling you what I did this weekend. And so I actually had an interesting weekend. I know, yes, you can say thank you because sometimes my weekends are, I did laundry and I cleaned the house. This weekend, I actually did stuff. I actually put on clothes and left my house and did things. Um, Friday, I, well, it, I guess it's kind of exciting. I went out for dinner with my husband, which is always good. Uh, Got to keep that relationship going. Um, he's amazing. My husband is absolutely amazing. But that was Friday. So I went out for dinner on Friday. And then on Saturday, I drove to, um, it's about an hour and a half, from where I live. And a really dear friend of mine, her name is Cindy Zamora Bernard, and we have, we've actually interviewed her for our podcast. I can't off the top of my head remember which episode it was, but it was her 40th birthday a few weeks ago. And uh, so we went away, we did a girl's trip for the weekend. So there were eight of us, and we went to this really beautiful, beautiful hotel and did like a day there, blah, blah. The girls did a wine tasting. I don't drink wine, so I didn't do that, but they went and had a wine tour and all this exciting stuff, spa and all of this kind of stuff. And then we had an amazing dinner, a really fantastic dinner. And then we went back to one of our rooms and sat till I think three in the morning and just talked, just talked. Um, and, and then that was Saturday. Sunday, I went to a couple of events. I went to a brunch, which was put on by the Caribbean Women in Power, I think that's the name, Caribbean Women of Power lunch. And it was a really fantastic event, sold out, beautifully done. And they had many speakers, several panelists. And I actually wanna share with you something that one of the panelists said that triggered a thought in me and what I'm gonna talk about in a minute. And then the other thing that I did is I went to see the speaker. His name is Stéphane Laboussier. I don't know, his surname is super fancy, I can't say it. I'd actually seen him last weekend at a summit that I'd gone to. And I heard he was coming to Toronto, so I went to see him this weekend. And he's a relationship therapist. Okay, before we get to the relationship part, he's just, a fine looking brother. This is pretty, don't tell my husband that I said that. He's a fine looking brother. Just really, just really fine looking brother. But he is a relationship therapist. And um, so he, just talk, he talks about relationship. And what's really interesting is that he talks to predominantly, I'd say most of the people who were there were women. Not, not I think, they were. I'd probably say 95% of the people who were there, it was a packed, packed house, line up like forever outside the hotel to get in. And um, he talks about relationships from the perspective of a man giving 
women advice about how they should behave and, and you know, how they should accept to be treated in relationship with men and also just advice on how we need to be whole before we come into relationships. So super interesting, said some really great things and I might share them in a future live. But for today, what I wanted to talk about really is something that one of the speakers at this brunch that I went to said. So she was talking about sisterhood and how sister relationships as in our, our female friends are such an important part of life. I mean, for me, definitely it was, it is an important part of my life. And as I said, I spent Saturday with eight women who are friends of mine, sisters of mine, and uh, it was just wonderful to reconnect with them and, and spend time with them. But what she talked about is how sometimes sisterhood is disrupted by gossip, for lack of a better word, the things that we say about other people when they're not in the room and how that sometimes is the reason that women are reluctant to get into friendships, to be friends with other women or to, to share their struggles with other women because they're afraid that they will hear their business spoken about by other people. And I thought that was really profound, you know, how um, I know so many people who've had their relationships destroyed by gossip, by the fact that one person shared something about somebody else. And there are a couple of things that really struck me that she said. Number one, it was the fact that don't say something about somebody that you wouldn't say if they were in the room. So if somebody was sitting right next to you, would you say the things that you're about to say? And that's something that you should think about before you say anything, whether it's a woman, whether it's a man, whatever. If the person was sitting right next to you, would you say that? And the second thing um, that she talked about is the fact that when you gossip or when you talk about someone, what it's more a reflection on you, the things that you're saying, than it is on them. And I thought that was so profound. The fact that what you say about other people reflects more about who you are and your character than it says about that person that you're talking about. Um, so, and I'd also come across a quote recently that I thought I'd share with you. And I think that it really helps a, a thought that you can use to filter what you say and how you say when you're talking about other people. And it's really simple. It's actually think, T H. I -N -K. And what it says is before you say anything about anybody else, before you talk about anybody, you have to think about is what I'm about to say true? Is it the truth? Do you know it to be the truth? Do you know it as a fact before you repeat that whatever it is that you're about to say? So you use that as the number one criteria. Is what I'm about to say something I have made up or something that I've heard somebody else say, which may or may not be true? Okay, so number one, T, is it true? The second filter is, is it helpful? Is what you're about to say helpful to the situation? Is it helpful to the person? Is it helpful in any way? How is it going to be helpful either to the person that you're sharing this information with or to the person that you're talking about? So H is, is it helpful? The third thing is I, is it inspiring? Is this something that is going to build people up? Is this something that is productive? Is it something that, you know, is it inspiring? Is it something that is going to be uplifting to anybody who's either hearing it or about the person that you're talking about? And the fourth thing, N, is, is it necessary? Do you need to say what you're about to say? Do you need to talk about this person? Do you need to say whatever it is that you're about to say? Is it really necessary for you to say what it is you're about to say? And the last filter for you to use is K. Is it kind? Are you being kind to this person that you're talking about? Are you being kind to the person who's receiving this information? So those are the, the five filters that you know, I would recommend that you use when you're thinking about saying something about somebody else, particularly if they're not in the room. And even if they are in the room, if you're talking to somebody, is it true? Is it helpful? Is it inspiring? Is it necessary? And is it kind? 
And on that note, I hope you have a wonderful week. I hope that this week is productive. I hope that it is filled with action, that you are moving closer and closer to those goals and those dreams that you thought about at the beginning of the year. And I wish you a wonderful, wonderful week. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, everybody.